What's up guys, Redis Rations here with you again, and we are doing a US MRE review today. This particular MRE was given to me by a buddy of mine that has had it since he was in high school. This is one of the most obscure MRE menus because it was only produced for a very short time. That is menu number 22, chicken and dumplings. I've never had this menu. I don't know many people that have had this menu, so I'm super excited to check it out. Before we get this over to the reviewing desk, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to help it out with the Google algorithm and to subscribe to the channel for all future military ration reviews. Now, without delay, let's check this one out. So menu number 22, chicken and dumplings. This one that we're looking at today was packed by Ameriqual on the 170th day of 2008. The condition is unknown, but hey, hopefully it's still edible. So the reason that chicken and dumplings is such an obscure menu is the very limited window of production where you can actually run into this thing. Menu number 22 became chicken and dumplings in 2007, where it replaced jambalaya. And then officially, it was replaced in 2008, but as we can see, they were still packing these even in 2008, probably just using up old stock. That's not uncommon for menus to kind of bleed over into the next year a lot of times, even when they are replaced. Now, was this replaced because people hated it, or was there another reason that it was only around for a year? Only way to know is to actually try it out. So let's open this thing up. The same friend that gave me the ration gave me this Baron Sons Bow Song. In standard Ameriqual fashion, it is double packed. Everything's smelling pretty good. Basically smells of plastic. There's our retort for the main, chicken and dumplings, white meat. That is 280 calories, 23 grams of carbs with 23 grams of protein and an eight ounce package. Heck yeah, shortbread cookie, 1.5 ounces, 210 calories with 27 grams of carbs. Our accessory package, which we will look at in just a moment, a Sterling Foods wheat snack bread, 180 calories. This is a new one on me. Chocolate covered coffee beans, couple spreads here, a 1.5 ounce package of chunky peanut butter, 240 calories, and a one ounce package of grape jelly. That's coming in at 70 calories. Oh, check that out. Strawberry dairy shake powder. This thing feels like it's packed all the way full. A massive 460 calories on that with 56 grams of carbs, 48 of which are sugar. And this thing is a sugar bomb for sure. Now, as a warning, around the time of the packing of this ration, there was a recall on all the dairy shake mixes, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. So I think this does fall in that date range. Now, of course, I live life on the edge a little bit, so I definitely plan on trying this out. But if you get one of these older rations yourself, that's something to think about. MRE spoon, hot beverage bag, and our flameless ration heater. In our accessory package, which doesn't indicate whether it's an A or B or what have you, we have a Lighthouse toilet paper, a pack of peppermint gum, a Nescafe Taster's Choice coffee, four grams of iodized salt, an OD green pack of matches with red tips, moist towelette, creamer dry non-dairy, four grams of sugar, and lastly, one of the little Tabasco bottles. And that sauce looks to be in outstanding condition. So hopefully that bodes well for the overall condition of this ration. Due to the age of this ration, I'm not even gonna give the Flemish ration heater a shot. There's a chance it would work, but I figure it probably won't. So I'm gonna get the main on to boil and we'll get everything else plated up. While the main's heating, let's get that coffee going. This is my first meal of the day and it's already like two in the afternoon. So my stomach is ready for something. I've never had one of these packs of Taster's Choice fail me when they changed to this elongated package. I guess they fixed whatever issue they had with the old style Taster's Choice. Nice, large, freeze-dried coffee crystals there. See how this creamer's looking. Still nice and white. No doubt that's still fine. Dump all that in. And you know I like it sweet, so we'll add a whole sugar bag to that as well. I have about six or seven ounces of screaming hot water here. As soon as that water hit it, man, this thing wafted the best coffee aroma. It smells so good. My mouth is watering but unfortunately that's too hot to drink just now. Now for our strawberry dairy shake powder. It is zipped 
shut. There is a ton of powder in there. It doesn't smell like strawberry at all. It just smells like a vanilla powder to me. You can very easily mix this in the pouch. I'm gonna give mixing it in the glass a shot just to change things up a little bit. The powder just seems to be completely white. I don't really see any pink color to it or anything to indicate that it would be strawberry. Now I think that is plenty of powder to mix a drink, especially since this is only supposed to make six ounces of liquid. I would be doing myself a disservice if I didn't hold on to at least a little bit of that powder for later. So stick around and you'll see why. We're gonna do cold water with this one. There's that pink color as soon as the water hits it. It's a little bit bubbly. Give that a good stir. Oh yeah, it looks just like strawberry milk. And that actually seemed to dissolve very easily to my surprise. And I'm smelling strawberry now as well. The water just really woke that up. It might be skipping ahead just a little bit, but I have to go ahead and try this stuff. This is an MRE item I've never had. So those are few and far between usually. Let's see how that tastes. Hmm, it's super sweet, nice light strawberry flavor is very creamy a little bit frothy but at the same time has just a little bit of grittiness as well i'm gonna say that's pretty freaking delicious guys it might just be that my stomach would be happy with anything but this stuff is fantastic and extremely nutrition dense this pack of powder was 460 calories that's a meal unto itself mm. And it is extremely tasty. You can see I just about polished it off. I'm just hoping that I don't get sick from it. That would really ruin my weekend. Let's take a look at our shortbread cookie. Look at that, all in one piece it seems. It's rather large. They included a do not eat, which we are not gonna eat. Wheat snack bread time. It looks a little squished, a little bit disformed, but still smells like a completely normal wheat snack bread, as normal as wheat snack bread can be, I suppose. The chocolate covered coffee beans, they're Double pack. Look at that package. Shocking lots. Chocolate covered coffee bean candy. One ounce. That's 120 calories. They're coated like an M&M. That's a surprise. The candy shell on those are cracked just a little bit, but these smell like straight up coffee. Maybe the coffee scent is kind of leaking through the cracks in the shells. I'm super excited to try those out. I think we're good for a sip of coffee now. Let's check out the taste of choice. Although it smelled like this awesome, robust cup of coffee, it's actually on the weak side. Flavor-wise, it's perfectly fine. Just very subdued. Tastes like a light roast. Sweet and creamy from the cream and sugar, but not much in the way of a coffee taste. Before I polish all this off, I'm gonna take a decent little handful of these coffee beans and just drop them in there. And we'll try that out in a little bit. Take a little taste of this wheat snack bread. Make sure it's still in edible condition. Hmm. Dry, dense and chewy. Everything you love or hate about wheat snack bread. I wasn't really expecting it, but this has just the slightest amount of that mouth numbing feel that you get with something that has gone old. It's not troubling enough to where it would stop me from eating it. So I think we're gonna go ahead and load it up with peanut butter and jelly. You rarely run across the chunky peanut butter. And MRE chunky peanut butter is still fairly creamy in my opinion. The chunks are very small. Love those 1.5 ounce packages. It's the perfect amount. Still some left in there. And I want to look at this grape jelly before we put it on there. It's darkened a little bit. It's more brown than it is purple, but it's still fine and super, super sweet. The sweetness in jams and jelly seems to just become more intense over the years. It's a little bit runny. And that my friends is a classic MRE snack. Cracking this cookie open. Broke into three little portions there and that's actually exactly what I wanted. It was an accident though because I'm going to take this little bit here and we're going to put some peanut butter on that. We're going to take the rest of our dairy shake powder, put it in this compartment. Look how much of that was left. Really a lot of powder in one of these packages. And to that we're going to make a little well in the middle so we can hold some liquid. Well, Y'all have seen me demonstrate this technique a few times before but I've never done it with this particular beverage powder before. Mix all this in. Look how pretty and pink that is, wow. This reminds me of making like fresh pasta or something, like you're mixing your eggs into your semolina. It's really thickening up. And check that out, absolutely beautiful strawberry MRE frosting, perfect to top off half of the shortbread cookie here. Oh man, that is going to be ridiculous, guaranteed. Since I have that on the spoon, let's go ahead and dry it. Mind completely blown. What? That's from a military rasher? Are you kidding me? That stuff is excellent. It's creamy. Mm. So milky and sweet and delicious. Absolutely fantastic. Let's mix up our peanut butter and jelly, Tracy Phillips style. And that jelly is definitely looking a little bit brown, but we already know 
It's still fine to eat. Now that it's all mixed up, it's not quite so pretty. I'll see how it tastes. That little added crunch of the crunchy peanut butter is noticeable. That wheat snap bread is so thick and dense though, you would think that it would be overpowering, but that peanut butter flavors are so strong, it just covers the wheat snap bread up. Well, I'm all sticky from frosting and jam. Luckily, our moist towelette is still very wet even all these years later, but that doesn't stop it from falling apart on me, I guess. Our main is thoroughly boiled at this point. It's a little bit crinkly though, and it feels like it's delaminating. Yeah, it is, look at that. You can kind of pull it apart. Oh, that is a shame. Dang. Your retort pouches should most definitely not do this. You shouldn't be able to open them from the side like that. The internal components don't look all that terrible though. So well, let's get this out and have a better look at it to see if I think it's safe to eat. I'm thinking maybe I boiled it just a little bit too long and that's why the pouch is falling apart. Cause this smells the way it should, I think. Well, we can definitely see that we got mostly everything out of the pouch there. The color seems right. The sauce smells identical to that of the sauce that goes on the chicken and noodle main, but there is a lot of chicken in this. It looks wonderful, to be completely honest. So I'm pretty sure this is safe to consume. In this, we have carrot pieces and they are not completely broken down at this point. We have our dumplings themselves, which if you don't know what a dumpling is and a chicken and dumpling, it's just a dough that is sort of rolled out and placed into liquid and boiled. Very common in the Southern United States. Our chicken that's in this is a white meat chicken. It is essentially canned chicken. I wouldn't be surprised if they opened cans of chicken to make this. We have some green peas in there and some little flakes of celery, it looks like. Try to get a spoon with a little of everything in it. Some dumpling, some chicken. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Hey, that's not bad at all. Slight metallic flavor. Probably the retort pouch imparting that to the mill. If you boil something in a retort pouch for a little bit too long, which I think I did, you'll get a little bit of a metal flavor. There is a huge chunk of chicken in that bite. Super meaty. Flavor-wise, if you've had the chicken and noodle main, this has a very similar flavor profile. Let's try one of these dumplings by itself. Before we eat it, there's a better look at it. It's almost like a pasta. It's a dense bread product. And even though it has a little bit of density to it, they still break apart very easily. This could use some black pepper for sure because it's very lightly seasoned. What I'm really surprised by the most though is the massive quantity of chicken that's in this. They certainly were not playing on that front. Let's see how it is with a little bit of our Tabasco. I put about half the bottle on it there, maybe a little bit more. Give that a scoop. The additional spice is a nice touch. The vinegar though helps to wake the whole thing up and really draw out those other flavors. Aside from being a little bit bland, I don't see anything wrong with this menu at all. And the amount of meat that's in it sets it apart from a lot of MRE menus. I don't know why it was such a short-lived menu. One last bite of that. Mm. And let's try one of our coffee beans. It looks like a peanut M&M. Let's bite it straight in half if we can. The inside's crunchy. So it's basically like a peanut M&M, but instead of there being a peanut on the inside, there's a crunchy, dark roasted coffee bean on the inside. And you know it's dark roasted because it has a little bit of that sort of burnt flavor going on. These are great though. They're sweet. The candy shell and the chocolate covers up that harsh bitterness that you can sometimes encounter with coffee beans. They're not hard enough to where they hurt your teeth to bite into. And anything that's an on-the-go energy boost is usually pretty popular with the troops. I'm curious to see if they did anything for our coffee. The shells dissolve giving the coffee sort of a yellow look to it and the chocolate melted a little bit so we're going to be dealing with sort of a sweet mocha now i suppose you can see the floating beans on top there well the beans make it taste like coffee that's for sure they're still very crunchy it's just sweeter than it was before oddly enough i think these two items are probably better separate drink your coffee and then eat your coffee beans no reason to mix them in my book and let's finally get to that shortbread cookie so again there's the inside looks like a sugar cookie smells like a sugar cookie let's see how it tastes super crunchy tastes like a sugar cookie sweet crunchy has that shortening flavor going on. It's so dry that I think these would probably last forever. We'll try that bite there with peanut butter. As you would expect, peanut butter makes everything better. But I think this is going to be the real way that this item should be enjoyed. Who doesn't like a frosted cookie? And look at that frosting. Looks like something out of the bakery. Mmm. Man, that is so sugary. The frosting is almost fluffy in this odd way. Look how thick it is. It's imparting moisture to the cookie. Some extra strawberry flavor. Whoa, that is the star of the meal for sure. If you ever get your hands on one of these, you are doing yourself a disservice if you don't make this yourself. But keep in mind, I'm taking a risk by even eating this dairy powder because it could make me extremely sick. Freaking delicious. If anyone ever makes an MRE cookbook, this item has to go in it for sure. All right, guys, we pretty much demolished this one. I am going to go through and 
finish up these last little bits. That was the review though. Menu number 22 from 2008, chicken and dumplings. I wanna say a big thanks to Cheese Toast for handing this one over to me for review. This would have been a very difficult menu to get my hands on otherwise. I guess it will remain a mystery why this menu was so short lived because in my opinion, it's great. Especially when you take into account all the other stuff that goes along with the main. The main is mediocre at best, although it has a lot of meat in it, which I like, but the sides included with this one were unique and very tasty, although extremely sugary, but that's the kind of stuff the troops like, right? Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up to help the channel out with the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel for all future reviews if you like what you saw, and let me know what you thought about this ration down in the comments. Have you ever tried this one before? And am I crazy for giving the dairy powder a shot? If that's the most risky thing I did today, I'd say I'm living a pretty safe life. All right, guys, catch you in the next video. See you then. Peace.